All right, folks, I'm back with another tech video. Uh, this one is going to be entitled HP XW8600 Upgrades as of March 20, 2013. I've had this computer for about a year now, and it's been running good ever since. When I originally got it, it only had one uh, Xeon dual-core processor, and I've since upgraded to two 2.67 quad-core processors, so it gives me a total of eight cores, six gigs of RAM. Uh, graphics card is an NVIDIA GeForce GT610 that has uh, two gigs of video RAM, and the operating system I have right now loaded on this computer. As you know, this is not Windows, and it's a uh, mountain lion. Just to prove to you that Mountain Lion is installed, and I'm using a legit retail copy. Let's go about this Mac. All right, let's back up. Uh, let's see, it's uh, version 10.83. And that's so far of uh, this. Of as far as upgrades is concerned on this computer, excuse me for a minute, I had it, lost my train of thought. But that's so far what I've been doing on this computer is just playing around with the Mac OS install to get it to work how I want it. Um, to get it started or to at least get Mac OS to install, you have to use a program from Tony's Mac. If you go to TonyMacX86.com. You sign up for a free account, make a donation, of course. You should, you know, so they can continue with their hard work in trying to get Mac OS or the next edition to install on your PC. And this is not a, a, a Macintosh computer per se. This is all PC-related parts. But it is possible to install Mac OS X on a PC, but you got to use a special bootloader for that and some kecks to get it to, to work. And what I did with, with the onboard network graph network card or NIC cards, not graphics out, I take that back. I'd use a special Kex from a site called Kex.com, which will probably send you to their correct page. Uh, let's go to the let's go to the Hackintosh folder and to install the onboard NIC, you have to use this Kex called BC. M5722D.kext and you use Kex Wizard to install it. You repair the permissions, you restart the computer, and your NIC card should install with full DHCP support on it. So that's how I got it to work. And that's all I have as far as an update on this machine. But I'm just, just to prove to you, I'm running separate operating systems. So I'm going to pause this video and do a part two and I'm gonna load in Windows 7. So stay tuned.